Did you know that adhering to an 8-hour eating window in intermittent fasting might actually increase your risk of dying from heart disease? A recent study presented at an American Heart Association meeting in Chicago has stirred up a storm by suggesting just that. The researchers examined data from 20,000 adults in the U.S. across a span of 15 years, from 2003 to 2018. They found a startling revelation. Those who followed an 8-hour eating plan as part of their intermittent fasting regimen had a 91% higher risk of mortality due to heart disease. And it doesn't end there. The risk turned out to be even higher for individuals who already had cardiovascular disease or cancer. This finding has inevitably thrown a wrench in the works for proponents of intermittent fasting, and has sparked a renewed debate on the safety and efficacy of this popular dietary practice. However, before we jump to conclusions, it's important to note that the study did not establish a cause and effect relationship. This means while the data showed a correlation between an eight hour eating window and a higher risk of heart disease mortality, it did not conclusively prove that one leads to the other. It's akin to noting that roosters crow as the sun rises, but this does not mean the roosters crowing causes the sun to rise. So where does this leave us? On one hand, we have a dietary practice that has gained widespread popularity backed by numerous personal testimonials and some scientific studies showing benefits. On the other hand, we have a significant study suggesting potential risks that are too grave to ignore. Interestingly, the study did not establish a cause and effect relationship, which leaves us with more questions than answers. But one thing is clear. The conversation around intermittent fasting is far from over. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this controversy in our next segment. This isn't the first study to explore the potential risks and benefits of intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, a popular dietary trend in recent years, has been the subject of ongoing scientific scrutiny. The results, however, have been far from clear-cut. On one side of the spectrum, we have studies suggesting short-term benefits tied to intermittent fasting. Some of these benefits include improved insulin sensitivity, decreased blood pressure, and even weight loss. These are not insignificant achievements given the rising rates of obesity and related metabolic disorders worldwide. Yet on the other side of the spectrum there are studies that paint a less rosy picture. They show negligible impact on weight loss or metabolic health. This contradiction leaves us in a conundrum. How could intermittent fasting be beneficial for some and yet appear to have no effect on others? The answer may lie in the fact that intermittent fasting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. The human body is complex and our individual responses to dietary changes can be influenced by a multitude of factors, such as genetics, age, lifestyle, and even our gut microbiome. It's also worth noting that research in this area is still in its infancy. While some studies have been conducted on sizable populations, others have been limited to smaller sample sizes or even animal models, which may not translate directly to human physiology. Moreover, the protocols used in these studies can vary widely, from alternate day fasting to time-restricted eating, which may affect the outcomes. And let's not forget that the duration of these studies is often short, making it difficult to assess the long-term effects of intermittent fasting. This isn't to say that intermittent fasting is devoid of merit, on the contrary, it may offer a viable dietary approach for some individuals, but the key takeaway here is that more comprehensive long-term studies are needed to definitively establish its benefits and potential risks. Clearly, the jury is still out on intermittent fasting. As we delve deeper into this topic, remember to approach intermittent fasting like any dietary change with caution and informed decision-making. After all, when it comes to our health, there's no room for hasty conclusions. Another study presented at the American Heart Association's conference found that time-restricted eating might nearly double the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease in the long term. This research dove into an extensive set of data, encompassing the eating habits of over 20,000 U.S. adults. A striking pattern emerged from this data pool. Individuals who restricted their eating to a concise 8-hour window seemed to be dancing with danger. Their risk of succumbing to heart disease was nearly twice as high compared to those who spread their meals across a more leisurely 12-16-hour to 16 hour period each day. This 8-hour eating plan is a common facet of intermittent fasting, a dietary practice that has been gaining popularity over recent years. Yet this study's findings paint a worrying picture, suggesting a shadowy side to this trend. It's important to note though that this study isn't an indictment of intermittent fasting as a whole. Rather it highlights the potential risks associated with one specific aspect of it. 
the narrow eight-hour eating window. The researchers didn't find that intermittent fasting itself was the culprit. Instead, it was this specific time restriction that seemed to be linked with an increased risk of heart disease. In fact, the study's lead researcher was taken aback by these findings. This suggests that the relationship between time-restricted eating and heart disease is far from straightforward. It's a complex issue that requires further exploration. So, while the study does raise some red flags about time-restricted eating, it's not the final word on the subject. As with any emerging field of research, there are still many unknowns. However, the study's lead researcher noted that these findings were unexpected, suggesting that more research is needed. Indeed, the quest to fully understand the impact of intermittent fasting on our health continues. Despite these findings, it's important to remember that diet quality should not be overlooked in favor of meal timing. When it comes to heart health, the spotlight often shines brightly on the timing of our meals, particularly with the rising popularity of intermittent fasting. However, recent studies have underscored the importance of focusing on the quality of our diet, rather than the time we consume it. Let's take a closer look. The research presented at the American Heart Association's conference highlighted the importance of proven heart-healthy diets, such as the DASH diet, pescatarian diet, and Mediterranean diet. These diets emphasize the consumption of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and heart-healthy fats while minimizing processed foods, added sugars, and sodium. The DASH diet, for instance, has been specifically designed to reduce high blood pressure, a major risk factor for heart disease. It promotes foods rich in nutrients like potassium, calcium, and magnesium, which help lower blood pressure. The pescatarian diet, on the other hand, encourages fish and seafood as primary protein sources, along with ample fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Then there's the Mediterranean diet, often hailed as one of the world's healthiest diets. It's rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats, mainly from olive oil and fish. This diet is associated with a lower risk of heart disease, thanks to its emphasis on omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and other heart-healthy components. These diets are currently considered more important than the timing of meals for cardiovascular health. The emphasis is on nourishing your body with high-quality nutrient-dense foods throughout the day, rather than restricting your eating window. In conclusion, while the timing of meals and intermittent fasting can play a role in health and weight management, they should not overshadow the fundamental principle of a balanced, nutrient-rich diet. Remember, it's not just about when you eat, but what and how much you eat that truly matters. So, while intermittent fasting might seem like a quick fix, it's crucial to remember that a balanced, heart-healthy diet is key. Intermittent fasting continues to be a hot topic in the health and wellness community. It's a dietary trend that has gained significant attention, with many lauding its potential benefits for weight loss and metabolic health. However, recent studies have thrown a curveball into the mix, suggesting that this eating pattern may increase the risk of heart disease mortality, particularly when adhering to a strict 8-hour eating window. These findings, presented at an American Heart Association meeting, were derived from data involving over 20,000 adults in the United States, spanning from 2003 to 2018. The individuals who followed the 8-hour eating plan were found to have a 91% higher risk of heart disease mortality compared to those eating across 12 to 16 hours. It's important to note that these studies do not establish a cause and effect relationship. The results are intriguing and somewhat unexpected, but they underscore the need for further research to fully understand the impact of intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating on heart health. The complexity of these findings illustrates that the science of nutrition is far from simple. It's not just about what we eat, but also when we eat. However, the emphasis should always be on diet quality, rather than timing. Regardless of when you choose to consume your meals, a heart-healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins should be the cornerstone of your nutritional approach. In conclusion, while intermittent fasting may offer some benefits, it's crucial to consider the potential risks as well. The relationship between diet, heart health and overall wellness is intricate and multifaceted, requiring more in-depth exploration. As we continue to uncover more about this complex relationship, one thing remains clear. A heart-healthy diet should always take precedence over any dieting trend. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into intermittent fasting and heart disease. We hope you found this information insightful and it helps you make informed decisions about your own health. Remember, your health is your wealth and staying informed is key to maintaining it. 
If you appreciate this content please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Your support helps us continue to bring you more in-depth health insights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our latest videos. We look forward to continuing this journey of learning and discovery with you. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and remember, a heart-healthy diet should always take precedence over any dieting trend. See you in the next video.